Welcome back to Razm Afsar TV. From today, I'm going to start a really effective and new series on different weapons in Razm Afsar. I am going to start and do the first series on Shamshir and Separ, explain it as you will see it here, and then I will do them lesson, this is lesson one, lesson two, or other lessons alternatively either on um, YouTube where everyone has access to or I will put it on Patreon for those uh, of you who kindly support Razmafsar project so they can see it and you can become a patron if you wish and also some of them I will be make them I will, I'm going to make them uh, accessible to those who are members of my YouTube channel but I'm going to put them one, two, three, and you will always see those of thing uh, videos you might not see it here. Most of them will be f uh, accessible freely for you, but some of them will be put on Patreon and also on um, YouTube channel for the members because I also need to provide specific materials for my members on Patreon and also on YouTube. But most, as I mentioned, will be freely accessible. So you can take a look at these techniques. I'm going to explain them. So you, you're going to improve your techniques and see how you can um, be a better um, uh, technician and also fighter and do also free flow in a more efficient and uh, beautiful manner. Thank you very much. And I wish you a nice day and enjoy the video. So we will see Shamshir and Separ essential guards. As you can see hit here, the essential guards, this is a miniature depicted in Khamsi and Azami. He's behind the shield, push the separ, and he has a, he's a, a bit dropped middle guard because he's pushing against the Neize strike against his shield, but this is a middle strike, a middle, excuse me, guard as you can see it. And the middle guard is one of the first guards you learn in a Razmafsar system as you see it here so I can see it here so you can see the middle guard from the side you see the middle guard here from the front you see the middle guard from the side you see that I keep my sword my shamshir at the same level as my shield is there is also a stretched middle guard you need to take in Razmafsar system into consideration. You see, I stretched my Shamshir threatening. Sometimes it's important to keep threatening so your opponent keeps distance. Put uh, your um, Shamshir in his face so he keeps a distance to you. This is the stretched, uh, as I mentioned it, uh, middle guard. here is a miniature from Shahnameh Qawam. Look at the fighter on the left uh, side. He has, he has a high guard. So high guard is you normally stretch your shield, so keep distance, keep threatening uh, your opponent with your shield, and you raise your arm above your hand. This is a very, very effective guard because you can use many combinations from this guard. As you can see it here, you can do um, downward um, thrust and also do any cut with that. Almost any cut you wish with your Shamshir. I really like this card and it's more, one of my favorite cards in fighting. So you can bring it up here, there. As in any, and then here you can see this is a cross card. What is a cross card? Cross card or an a uh, cross guard armpit guard in a sense that you cross across your body place it uh, below your armpit that's what it means actually here we have another cross guard this is a cross guard where you place it on your neck so you have a crossed arm and after you cut you end up in such a guard this is also, and you can even start with such a thing, but this is this one. 
And then we have a horizontal middle guard as well. As you can see, I raise my arm a bit. It's not above my head, but it's down a bit. And this is what's called a horizontal one. Then there is a lower guard. Look at the lower guard. I will show it to you later why this lower guard is also one thing which is important in Razmov Star System. When we change from one guard to the other in um, continuous striking, you will see why you need to practice all guards individually. Shahnameh Rashidi on food using Shamshir and Sapai. So there are also there were also Shamshir was used on food as well as it was it was used on the horseback. A very common misconception by European uh, uh, martial artists and fencers. So, as you can see here, he is um, in front uh, of his uh, shield, meaning that his right leg is forward. So, let me just go and show something to you. You see now, you can have the middle guard in front, the middle guard in front of the shield. This is also something we can do. You don't need always to to middle guard behind the shield so both are a possibility as you can see it here and you can have it now a stretched middle guard in front of the shield so you see this is a stretched middle guard in uh, front of the shield so here you have a stretched middle guard in front of the shield as you can see it here now from the back stretch middle gu guard in front of the shield A high guard from Shahnameh Shah Tahmaspi, and you see that uh, the fighter on the on the left has a high guard, and we are going to see that the high guard you can do it also on foot, in front of the shield, behind the shield, and also on horseback. So we are going to see now a high guard here again, but this time, as you can see it here. The high guard is in front of the shield. Look at the position of my shield. Oh, the shield is the surprise is still stretched, and then you have a high guard in front of the shield, as you can see it here. Now I'm going to have a cross guard, armpit cross guard in front of the shield. This is also a possibility you can have. You see, you can do all these guards in front of the shield and behind the shield and this is a very important factor to take into consideration and here we have a lower part guard in front of the shield this is also possible lower guard in front of the shield as you can see it here lower guard again in front of the shield lower guard in front of the shield And now here you see that uh, a neck cross guard in front of the shield. You, are, you have here, again, you see that how I cover myself? Neck cross guard in front of the shield. Mastering neck cross guard is one of the uh, hardest uh, guards in Razmov Sar system. mentioned in my book, Persian Archery and Swordsmanship, Shamshir Bar Farq Sadan, as you can see it here, to strike the top of the head with the Shamshir, is one of the main strikes in Persian swordsmanship. From there, you can use it as a feint or, or a real strike and start any, any combination, if you wish. You don't need to start all combinations with that. It's like the men strike in Japanese swordsmanship, if you want to make a comparison. You can see it from different, this is from, uh, that was from Shahnameh, and the one here you have is from Tarikh Jahan Goshoi Naderi. You see how the top of the hat is hit with the shamshir. Here we have from Khabaran Name, and you can see also how this strike is done. Shamshir Bar Farq Zadan Let's move to a technique. You see from the middle guard, 
I go to a stretch guard after I strike Shamshir Bar Farg Zadan. You see, I start with the middle guard. After I do Shamshir Bar Farg Zadan technique, I end up in stretched middle guard. You see that? It's very subtle, but you need to learn this difference. You see, I do middle guard, to strike top of the head, and end in stretched middle guard, as you can see it here. You see that? So I'm here, I do middle guard, and then end up after I strike Shamshir Bafar Zadan, uh, I end up in stretched middle guard. Again, you can see it here, middle guard, Shamshir Bafar Zadan, stretched middle guard. Please practice this slowly and then increase the speed. You need to get the angle correct and also to feel the concept of changing guards. If you don't understand the concept of changing guards, all your attacks will be nullified and useless. Of Shahnameh, which is published in my book, Persian Archery and Swordsmanship, like the others I show it here that were published, and used to describe the techniques shows the technique of Shamshir Bar Zadan. Although you see a formation, but you see also this formation shows at the same time how this technique is practiced on foot. You see how the shields keep being stretched. Look at the man in front and then how the Shamshir is raised and how this technique is being executed behind the shield, push the separ, as you can see it clearly in this miniature, which shows a formation of different men, but at the same time you can see that the technique is clearly shown. Look at the man on the left, far left, to the man in green on the far right. Let me just move uh, to uh, middle guard Shamshir Bafar Zadan and then in front of the shield meaning I take a step and you see how I do it I take a you know, middle guard raise my Shamshir take a step and end up in stretched middle guard middle guard raise my Shamshir do Shamshir Bafar Zadan and end up in stretched middle guard this you can have an understanding on how, on how this technique it should be done and should be practiced. You see that? So if I'm here, I raise and then do that. You see that? So you're in the middle guard, raise your hand, Shamshiba Farsadan, and you're in stretched middle guard. Again, I show it to you. I move to another one. I start with the middle guard, go to uh, cross guard and then step and end up in a high guard you see how beautifully three guards can change into each other by using two striking the first strike is shamshi bar farg zadan to strike the top of the head and the second strike is shamshi bazir bagal nabokhtar means to strike the armpit and three guards involved three guards two strikes so middle guard raising shamshi bar farg zadan cross guard armpit strike and end up in a high guard you see that how the cross guard is done and then high guard and two strikes three guards as I mentioned it before but you can do it also differently here I can come you see you see how I change it to the cross guard and then do an armpit strike so I come here change it to an armpit strike and go up it's very very simple so I bring it up bring it down to armpit and an armpit strike and a, ha and a guard without taking a step this is also a possibility to do this combination so I go up down and then go and strike You see that uh, this one, if you do uh, or may take a step or not, 
is something you can always decide but you can just want to show that you can also be, remain behind the shield you have a middle guard then go and top of the hand you strike then armpit strike and then you end up in a high guard once you take a step it becomes a bit more complicated but you need to train that first without taking a step and then with taking a step so you get used to both varieties oh now we go to the middle guard and then I come to um, armpit guard cross guard and then again you go up I just want to show you this again to the high guard so you come here down I just to have this technique again more with the sap so you can take a look at it and see how this technique works as I mentioned it to you before you can do it with a uh, with um, taking a sap or without taking a sap both are a possibility to do and to exercise this combination and this technique it is important as i mentioned it before with or without taking a step you have three guards and two strikes so if you learn how to keep the guards correctly and how to do the strikes correctly the flow of your technique will look much better and will be much more efficient. I've seen many people in Razmafsar who do this free flow. It just doesn't look right because they don't keep the guards correctly. They just strike and that's what makes it essential. And now here we have a middle guard and then you go to a lower guard to the side and then you recover and come back to the middle guard. Look at how it is done. Middle guard, go to the lower guard and come back to the uh, uh, middle guard. And I have a strike, which is Shamshi Bar Farzada. So you see Sham Shamshi Bar Farzada, lower guard and the middle guard. Middle guard, Shamshi Bar Farzada, lower guard and middle guard. This is the recovery from this side, one of the recoveries. You see that? I'll go to lower guard. You can even stop, stop in the lower guard and initiate another tactic or technique. I just wanted to show you how this flow helps you to understand the mechanics of a shamshir. And now we have a middle guard. I, I uh, step forward, go to a lower guard. You see, I um, step forward, do a shamshir bafar sadan, lower guard, and end up in a middle guard. You see, middle guard, shamshir bafar sadan, lower guard, and then ending up in a middle guard. And this time by taking a step. You see then how these things work? Because this time when you have a lower guard, you are in front of your shield. As I've shown this guard before as well. Now you can see how these guards, if you keep them correctly, will help to improve your guard and to be able to defend much better when you fight. Fighting is not only about striking, but also about the de defense. Here you see Shamshi Barfar Zadan from Khawaran Name. As you can see it here, you can see these miniatures in my book, Persian archery and swordsmanship if you wish. Which is World Conquest of Nader, meaning Nader Shah Afshar, you see how this technique was effective, as you can see it here. So, different uh, um, depictions of these techniques, Shamshir Ban Farzadan, and the efficiency of it are shown sometimes, of course, also exaggerated, as I will show it later. Here, even the helmet was cut. We know that cutting a helmet is not 
a possibility although i have seen helmets with uh, uh, cuts on them not like this of course but in iranian museums but here you see that we have deep descriptions of this technique like shamshi bafar zadan bata gardan buridan means to cut to the neck or even to the navel as we have we could see but shamshi bafar zadan is uh, described this is also from khabaran nome this one the last one as you can see uh, this technique is again uh, described and mentioned as you can see it in my lexicon of arms and armor from iran in different Iranian manuscripts and descriptions of warfare. This one is from uh, Ala Maray Shah Ismail. As you can see, that's Shamshi Bafaq Zadan Batar Naf Buridan to strike the top of the head and cut to the navel. This is uh, which is shown here in this miniature. Another painting in miniature, this is shown again. This is from Khavaran Name, the same technique as I described, and also word by word it is repeated, although they are from different centuries. Persian archery and swordsmanship were many of these techniques and also the sources are described if you wish to buy it but for, for the last uh, for the excuse me for the next days we have a special code you can go and get a discount if you wish you can go to my Facebook uh, for some days are remaining you can go and get this one um, uh, the code you can get on the uh, 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 under this discount code on the Facebook page of Razmafsar or my own fan page. And this is a lexicon of arms and armor from Iran where these techniques are also described and also sourced. Thank you very much for visiting my channel. If you have, I'm going to continue with these lessons and describe the techniques um, uh, more in detail. I wish you a nice day and hope to see you soon.